folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well. I hope you and your family are good. And I hope that this easing of the lockdown rules um, is benefiting you, um, you know, your mental health and, you know, seeing friends and family and having a hug off them. Um, yeah, it certainly does that. It's certainly done that for me. Um, benefited from seeing people, from, you know, even a hug um, and just... Yeah, getting back to some sort of normality and I think wherever you are in the world um, certainly in America where a lot of my audience is um, they are seeing lockdown rules easing um, some more than others but I hope all the same that it's still uh, benefiting for, for you but yeah I'll get into this video so I wanted to talk about the mind the fog that lies within the clouds of your thinking when you are in the heights and in the midst of addiction. So I'm keen to learn if people can relate to what I'm going to talk about. It's not going to be a long video. It's not going to be um, anything like me claiming to be an expert or anything as usual. I'm just speaking from my experience. And it'd be interesting to, to, to know if you can relate. So, yeah, um, when I talk about fog within, you know, mindsets while we're gambling, while we're taking drugs, drinking, um, whatever addiction you, you suffer from, um, I talk about it in a way that I felt when I was gambling, I was, you know, and drink, but when I was gambling, I had this fog that lay within my mind. Um, and what it meant for me was, when I was uh, either trying to find ways to gamble, ways to get the money, ways to um, do it on the quiet, when I was trying to do this, or when I was actually gambling, especially when I was gambling, and using, you know, taking part in, in my addiction, it didn't matter what the consequences were. It didn't matter what people said to me, what happened, what my day was like outside of gambling. It didn't matter to me um, what good things was happening because all I was concentrating on is gambling, getting my fix, whether it's I'd got the money and I was actively gambling at that time. Um, or if it was actually me focusing on getting the money, how can I do it? How can I get it on the quiet? How can I gamble, leave me some, some time to gamble on my own? Um, and it would just impact on my behaviours around people. Um, and so if someone come to me with a problem, A, I wouldn't believe it. Or, B, I'd believe it and I'd take it in and if they asked me to do something, I would agree, but very, very soon it would drop down my list of priorities. Um, I would often forget what people's asked me to do. I would often forget conversations. I would often forget um, arrangements that I'd got with people to either see them or pick them up or I would forget a lot of stuff and I call um, I call it fog, you know, mental fog because I had a one track mind and that was to get my fix and anything that come in between that was not irrelevant, you know, I wasn't that cold but it was put down the pecking order if you like. Um, and like I said, I touched on it there, things didn't seem real, so I knew I'd got consequences of gambling. I knew that it would hurt my wife, it would upset her. I knew that it would leave us without shopping and, um, you know, food, drink, fuel, bills, house. It would leave us without all those things. But for me, it wasn't about that. It was about the consequences are there. 
but one big win will sort that. And when it wasn't that, it was, I know they are there. I don't quite accept that they are the consequences, but they are there and I'm going to escape from the consequences and in turn make them worse by using, by gambling. So yeah, when I talk about mental fog when I was gambling, I could also, the other side of that obviously, is that when things was going good in my life, uh, maybe that we're going on holiday, maybe that we're going to party, I'm just saying things that we should enjoy and should take in. Um, and for you, it may be that you know you've took your kids out, or you've done a, you've gone to a, a birthday party, your kid's birthday party, something nice, a wedding. Um, you're there, but you're not really there, especially if you're gambling at that time or on drugs or drinking, um, because you're there. But it's more than just the occasion. It's it's getting that fix. Um, and you're there but you're in a different world I'm trying to it's a bit difficult to put across what I mean but I think for an example for me would be if I went to someone's birthday party I would be there I would be talking to people but ultimately if I got gambling on my mind be it a game that I've um, had a bet on a football game or if I was planning on spinning on roulette I would be in the toilets doing that and so all these different memories all these different uh, happy times if you like they would become sort of fog foggy for me when I look back because the main thing that was in my mind at that time was gambling and the fog that prevailed over my mental health um, it, it, it just it, it hindered my everyday activities in a good way in a bad way good activities or negative stuff fog mental fog was very much present for many many years for me and I just put this out there I know I'm rambling a little bit as usual but I wanted to see if people can relate it is a little bit difficult for me to explain fully what I mean um, but I do know what I mean I hope it has come across um, what I'm trying to get at but the key for this video is just to see um, if people can relate and if they can um, I'd like to hear about your experiences um, if you want to leave me a comment and I will get back to you but yeah I think we all um, have experienced uh, some sort of gambling addiction, uh, drug addiction, drink, sex, phones, anything, gaming addiction. And I think we've all, at some point, um, experienced difficulties mentally. And if this is part of one of them for you, um, I hope by me talking about it shows you that you're not alone. But yeah, if you leave me a comment and let me know, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and I will... Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, lads and lasses, and all my audience around the world. Because on a side note, a quick side note, I have looked at my geography on my viewers and the, the, the viewership around the world. Um, not that my videos get many views, but the views that they do get, it is coming from various countries. And I really appreciate each and every one of you um, taking the time to watch my videos. Um, so, yeah, I will. Catch you on the next one, folks, and uh, I wish you all the best.